Laravel 5.5, the next big release of Laravel, is out this week. And I wanted to cover some of the highlights real quickly with you. As you can see, Laravel 5.5 requires PHP 7.0.0. It's also the next LTS release of Laravel 5, the last being 5.1. Since this is an LTS version, bug fixes will be provided for the next two years and security fixes will be provided for the next three years. For general releases, for example, Laravel 5.4, bug fixes are usually provided for six months and security fixes are provided for one year. The first thing that we're going to look at is the reintroduction of the whoops package. If you recall in Laravel 4, the whoops package was used to render exceptions and then was removed in Laravel 5. It's back in Laravel 5.5. If I go over to my web routes, you'll notice that I'm throwing a new exception. So if I jump over to Chrome and hit refresh, you'll notice a nice stack trace here and I can get certain details about the stack trace. I can even click this button and go over to Stack Overflow for a search based on the exception that I have. I can also copy the exception to the clipboard. The next feature that we're going to look at is collection dumping. I have a song resource controller here that's getting a collection of all the songs and there's a platinum boolean that indicates if a song has gone platinum. Let's say that I want to filter only the platinum songs that have been released within the last 10 years. But I want to debug this first filter step. If I go in here, I can add dump in Laravel 5.5. If I go back over to the browser and I ask for the songs resource, you'll notice that it's dumped that collection at that point in the filter pipeline. Now at the end, let's say that I want to dump it again and see how it's changed. So you can see I have five when it filters the platinum songs. And then I have only one that's been released in the last 10 years. If I actually just want to stop execution, instead of dump, I can do DD, which is like Laravel's DD helper. And if I refresh the browser here, and you'll notice that it exits after the first filter. The next feature that we're going to look at is the ability to render a response from an exception. Typically in a Laravel 5.4 application, you would add some custom logic to your handler and then everything else would defer to the parent. The Illuminate Foundation Handler now has a check for a render method on the thrown exception. Let's say that I have my own exception in my app exceptions namespace. Now I can define a render method and return a response from it. And then this parent will check to see that that method is there and prepare a response. As a quick example of how this works, let's go back over to my song controller. I have a check here that says if the song isn't gold, throw a terrible song exception. If I jump over to the browser and hit refresh, you'll see that my terrible song exception response has been returned. If I jump to another resource, I get the regular one. Another response feature coming to Laravel 5.5 is the responsible interface. If I jump over to my song controller and I go up to the store method, you'll notice at the bottom here that I'm returning this new song response. If I look at this, I'm implementing the responsible contract. If I jump over to the responsible contract, you need to implement a to response method. You'll notice that my new song response takes a song object, and then the to response does a check. Let's say that the request wants JSON. I could just respond with JSON, set the location header and the status code of 201. This could be handy if you want to make an AJAX request and just return JSON, and then by default, redirect the user back to the song.show route. If I jump back to the song controller, you may have noticed this little bit different style of validation. Usually in Laravel 5.4, you would call this validate and then pass a request object to it, and then the second argument would be an array of all of your validation rules. In Laravel 5.5 now, you can just call validate on the request. The return value from the validate method is similar to request only, meaning that the keys listed here are the only things that are going to be returned. My personal favorite feature coming to Laravel 5.5 is hands down the new validation rule objects and closures. If I jump over to my terminal, you can make a new one with php artisan make rule test rule. If I check out the test rule, you'll notice that it implements this validation rule contract. We have a passes method, and then we have a message method that will return the custom validation error message. If I go over to my web routes file, you'll notice that I've added a few examples here. 
we have the validation rule object style, and then we also have the closure style. I really think the closure style is a cool option when you're just tinkering around with validation rules or you just have a one-off rule that only makes sense in a specific place. And then you have these custom validation rule objects that you can new up inside of the array here. If I check out this custom rule here, you'll notice that passes method, you just return in Boolean. So in this case, if the value is greater than 10, then this validation rule will pass. And then you can see how you can define the custom message here. If I jump back over to my routes file, you'll notice this fail parameter allows me to fail the validation rule. So in this case, if the value is less than or equal to 10, then I call fail and pass the custom message. Next, we have a few front end related features that are coming to Laravel 5.5. You might have noticed the new blade if, which is a way to define conditionals inside of blade very easily. Um, a couple of those include the auth and the guest directives. So let's look at those real quick. I have a few examples in this songs template that I have here. You might have these littered throughout your own code base. Auth checks to see if the user is authenticated or if they're a guest. Now you can just use the auth and the guest directive here to clean up your code quite a bit in your template around authentication checks. Another front end feature coming to Laravel 5.5 are some front end presets. If I jump over to my terminal, I have the PHP artisan preset help command up. Basically Laravel ships with some Vue.js bootstrapping and you can run this command and pass none, bootstrap, Vue, and React depending on how you want to set up your new application. So if I run PHP artisan preset React, you'll notice that React scaffolding is installed successfully. So if I come over to my assets folder, you'll notice that now these components are React instead of Vue.js and it's bootstrapping React. Next up, 5.5 introduces the concept of separate factory files for models. In 5.4, we had one modelfactory.php file and now you can create a separate factory file for each model. If I jump back over to the terminal here, you can see with the make model command, I can pass a factory flag and it will create a factory for my example model. So you can see what this looks like. If I jump back over to the code, you'll notice that in my factories folder here, I have an example factory. It just defines a skeleton factory for my example model. I can also create factories for existing models. So if I do make factory, and then I say dash dash model equals example two. This model doesn't actually exist, but I'm just showing you how you would do this. So example two factory is going to be the name of our factory. If I go back over here, you'll see my example two factory matching that. So the next feature that we're going to cover are some testing features. If I go over to the example test.php file, you'll notice that I've changed it a little bit here. I have this error route so I can kind of demonstrate to you this without exception handling method. If I make, um, if I go over to the command line and I run PHP unit, you'll notice that I receive a 500 instead of a 200, but this can be kind of confusing sometimes and you're not really sure what's going on. So if I jump back over to this test and I use this without exception handling method, it will actually just let the ex exception bubble up and it won't render the exception anymore. So I can see quickly that this is, um, just error detected exception. So if I go over to the web.php, you can see that I just have an error route here and I just threw an exception in it to show you this example. The next feature that we're gonna look at is the refresh database trait. In Laravel 5.4, we have the database migrations and database transaction traits. Those are still available in 5.5. The refresh database trait is a new one. If I jump into it, basically the refresh database trait just uses the most optimal approach depending on your database to migrating your test data between tests. Another one of my favorite features coming out on Laravel 5.5 is the migrate fresh command. If I go over to the terminal and I run PHP artisan migrate fresh, it's just going to drop all of the tables and then it's going to run migrations. You might remember the PHP artisan migrate refresh command. The key difference here is the refresh command rolls back all of your migrations and then reruns all of the migrations. So migrate fresh is a much simpler and cleaner approach. You can even run migrate fresh seed all in one shot if you want to seed your database at the same time. The last feature that we're going to look at is automatic package discovery. This is another really great feature of Laravel 5.5. Setting up a Laravel package isn't hard, 
but this makes it even simpler. I'm gonna just install as an example one of my favorite packages. So if I run composer require Laracasts flash. Okay, so if I actually go to the vendor folder, we're gonna check this composer JSON file out so you can see what I'm talking about. So at the bottom here, you'll notice this extra key and within there's a Laravel key and we're defining providers and aliases. So this package provides a flash service provider and an alias and Laravel will automatically set these up for us, which is really nice. If I actually wanna publish the files related to this, I can run PHP Artisan vendor publish and now it will dynamically ask me what I want to install. So if I pick option number four, you can see that I've published the views for this package. So these are some of the big features coming to Laravel 5.5. This list is hardly exhaustive. There's a ton of great stuff in this release. Be sure to visit Laravel News for more details on these features and the official Laravel documentation. Laravel News has a section for Laravel 5.5 features and you can check out some of these features that I've gone over in more depth.